Hey guys, still working on one of the best apps on the market today. You know, right here in front of you, we've got a button on the screen. It's a, it's a pretty cool button. You guys have seen the previous tutorial to set this up. It's getting, it's getting pretty crazy around here. Well, today, we had a question come in about, you know, how do you manually adjust the position? In the last tutorial, we did one that basically you attach the left side or the right or the the bottom and the left, similar to the, the last tutorial. What if you wanted to change the size of the button as you moved the position of the iPad or iPhone to the landscape view? And it was a valid question. You know, nobody wants this big of a button, uh, let's say, per se, on the, the portrait, and uh, maybe wants to change it when you flip to the landscape view or a custom position. So that's what we're going to go over today with the world's best app that we're making so far. So, as you can see, um, this is pretty much a direct correlation to the last tutorial. We have the button on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. Um, the one difference that we're going to do today is, as you switch to the landscape view, you can see our button now has shrinked. I think it's like an 80 by 80. And then we've positioned it in kind of a weird place on the screen. So we've manually adjusted the position, and it's not locked anywhere to let's say the y axis or y axis or the x axis so that's what we're going to be doing today is adjusting manually positioning the button on the screen so let's hop out of the simulator here and this is our project that we've been working on just a simple button on the screen um, so if you haven't if you're not up to this part just take a rectangular button in your objects drag it on the screen, make it any size you'd like, we're going to adjust it. Alright, from here, if you click into the button and you go into the size inspector, which is up under here in the top left, you're going to see we've got an X coordinate, a Y, a width, and a height of the button. So this is where the button is going to be placed on the screen for the portrait view. That's what we're going to work on today is we want in the portrait view the button to be here, but then the landscape view we want different coordinates and different height and width. So where we're going to start is in the header file and we've got to set up a new outlet. And so we're going to we're going to establish this UI button since it is a button. We're going to call this boom button. All right. And then we're going to set up some properties for this button. And this is going to this is going to set up the the getters and setters. Um, in relation to this button. Non-atomic retain IB outlet UI button and again our name boom button. Okay don't worry about this action down here because this is from the previous tutorial and that's basically how to set up sound attaching it to a button progr programming it into uh, into our header file and our implementation. Okay, so after you've got your outlet established, boom button, put the properties in there for that boom button, we're going to go into the XIB and attach the outlet to the object. So from here we've got our, our button here, and again you could, you could duplicate this five or six times. You can go back into the header, you can establish five or six different buttons, you can attach your, your outlets to your buttons here. So again, taking the files owner holding control dragging and attaching it to the button and this is where we're going to set up our boom button to the outlet that we just created and so the next step is actually going in and programming your outlet and how, how basically how it's positioned on the screen for portrait and landscape views that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial um, so let's review kind of what we did today so we basically put a button on the screen which we already had from the previous tutorial and then we went into the size inspector. We basically looked at, okay, this button in the portrait landscape is tw X is 20, Y is 777, width of 241, and height of 207. So you get familiar with the size inspector, where the button's at, and uh, in prepping for our programming here. Then you go into the header file, and we establish our outlet of UI button, boom button. And then we assign the properties, which establishes the getters and setters for this particular outlet, which uh, we put in non-atomic retain, IB outlet, UI button, boom button. 
You can see we've got a little little warning message here which basically says this property requires a method which is you know use synthesize and so we're gonna synthesize once we get into the next tutorial which will wrap that up for it. Alright so that's as far as we're gonna get on this tutorial um, as we move into manually adjusting the buttons from landscape to portrait and uh, moving forward. So, Alright stay tuned so you can check out how to build the world's best app. Alright peace out guys.